What if we check your bags and we check your smartphones? Have you been on those who saw operas? And even forget to eat. And your food burns because you're watching Jotty Bahu. Who believes that? You have not eaten anything. But you have watched that soap on TV. You are no longer hearing even when they call out to you. Your whole body is closed off to that thing you are watching. And I you. Now the body, when it joins with the soul, Reverend, huh? Our Trinity, that soul. It is God conscious. Uh, sorry, the spirit. Uh, the spirit. Yeah, the spirit. Yeah. God conscious. Then the soul. It is self conscious. Then the body, it is world conscience. So our bodies can actually live even if we do not eat. Something can please you and even don't eat, and your hunger goes away. I was looking at two people in the Bible. I looked at Moses. And I looked at our Lord Jesus Christ. They all fasted for 40 days. But Moses in those 40 days, when you read in Genesis 34, sorry, uh, Exodus 34, he took him to Mount Sinai. And there were only the two of them. For those 40 days they were together with Jesus. Our Lord Jesus, after being baptized, <laughs> the Holy Spirit took him to the desert and he was there with God Amen. that is the fasting I'm talking about that we are going to fast we want to be we and God Amen. the Bible has told us it is a secret and if it is a secret thing we all know it is not come and tell you people this is a secret Amen. Amen. We go behind there in the room, we hide ourselves. This is a secret. Do not speak of it to anyone. Amen. That is the first thing we are going to fast. Not the other one that we used to fast. Of announcing ourselves to the world. Amen. Are you as a faith arena? I don't expect you to come from here. And you go to the neighbors. You know you for us we have ushered into 40. Amen. Brethren, don't get away from here. And you go to Christ the rock and redeemed and everywhere. For us in faith we are in 40. We have already gotten your reward. Amen. If you fast from 6 a.m. in the morning until 6 p.m. in the evening, those who are able to fast during the day, amen. There is a night fasting. You cannot fast during the day because you do a lot of heavy work. Amen. So, brethren, when we fast, we are in a sacred covenant with God. 
What the Lord, what does the Lord expect of us? He expects us to read the words. He expects us to pray. So the our inner man, our spirit, is able to have power to rule the soul and the body. Amen. One time David is so uh, just went bizarre. He tells us in Psalms uh, 23 that the Lord returns my soul, brings back my soul. Sometimes our souls move and wander around. Are we together, brethren? So how or what does fasting help us? It helps us to humble down our souls. Because in the soul there is meditation, there is thinking, there is listening, there is decision making. The soul has all that. So uh, imagine Jesus was able to bring a, a sheet of paper to each one of us. In our minds, in our bodies, we have questions. Why are we fasting? Doesn't it end? That is within your soul. And the, your soul has already told you, do not fast. Don't fast, those are muddling things. Amen. That is the soul that does not want that of God. But the Bible says in Ezekiel, the Bible says in Ezekiel that a soul that, is, that sins is one that will die. Amen. Those are very big teachings, we shall teach them. When you die, the soul and your spirit go back to God. And the body remains here. That is why when you speak of godly things, your body fights so much because it does not beat them. Amen. So, brethren, you who is here, we are going to fast. Not by power, not by authority. But the Holy Spirit is going to enable us. This week I have been hungry. I have never been as hungry as I have been this week. I wake up in the morning and take my breakfast. By the time it is 11 midday, ulcers or wife and daughter, it would broke. So I can't have one I've never had ulcers. I had within me that it is because you declared that you are going to fast. <laughs> Amen. This week I've been fighting with my soul to so humble it down that it is going to fast. Amen. Brother, when you two is the same, you are going to feel things standing. You are going to get headaches. I mean, but you don't stop. Say, I am going to fast. Amen. What come may, but I am fasting. Amen. Who is believing with me that I am going to fast? Raise your hand and we pray together in that you're going to fast, raise your hand. This is not for fasting. Amen. Your soul. If you don't have your soul, don't fast. But if you have a soul, I am giving you wisdom. Advice. I advise you. If you have your souls. I don't know. But brethren, try. I fast. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what is happening. But I advise you. Brethren, try. Okay, at least six hours. Okay, seven hours. You will have fasted. You're going to be trying. I was telling you these words. 
Sisiga kazigo kusiba. I am not. I, I, it, it, it is not a bed of roses. It is not easy for me to fast. Kama yewazi. Amen. Nina we mpise. I have gone through. Na yenga singa de kuwa denti ne wanga yo ne kola koko bintu yo bwa katunda sari se wo. And if it wasn't that I gave myself unto God and did those of God, I wouldn't have gone through. Kati abo kuganda bintu yo bwa katunda mino. So brethren, this God living. Hili inge yo kusaga saga. It's as though they are for joking around and wasting time. Na yenga abi kola nyo. But they actually work a lot, a lot. Kati. So I beseech you and request you. Yes, you are going to go for Holy Communion. Give your soul. Gamba yes, we meme yange na jeva desa sani. That wherever my soul has been wandering from, you come here. Please gather it and bring it back. Osabe sara ya Dawudi ya sara. And pray the prayer of David. You come and come here. That he gathers my soul and brings it back. So speak to God and ask Him to bring back your soul. Bukendo kusembe ra. As you're going to get all of your let your soul be back. Amen. So 